Hello, good evening. Now let's talk about the new coronavirus. Real time data reports. So we are the data updated to uh, 2020 February 17th, 1847 p.m. Uh, now the total confirmed cases uh, is 706. 70,641 confirmed cases, and it is 2,051 more than yesterday. And suspected cases is 7,264, it is 1,563 uh, more than yesterday. The cure cases have uh, 11,100, uh, that's uh, 1,428 more than yesterday. So uh, we can see the trend for cure cases is going up, that's really a good news. And test cases is 1,772, it is 106 more than yesterday. Okay, let's look at the map uh, of China to see which province is uh, the data of each province. Now the most serious uh, region is Hubei. Hubei. Now it has uh, 49,843 confirmed cases. Next to it is Guangdong province. Guangdong province had um, 828 confirmed cases. I think this data uh, is um, not including who those already um, cured. So these are still, uh, still under treatment. And then Henan uh, had uh, 753 confirmed cases. Zhejiang had uh, 671 confirmed cases. Okay, let's look at the new confirmed and suspected trend nationwide. We can see that the uh, confirmed cases is going down, going down a lot. And then after that, a little bit increase at the date. But the uh, suspected cases is all going down from um, from February the fifth. It's going down for the suspected cases. That's good news. Yeah, that's really good news. Okay, let's look at uh, the new confirmed cases nationwide Hubei and now Hubei. We can see that the uh, trend is going down, it's going down quickly. So the, um, the target one is uh, national, and the uh, red one is Hubei. Yellow one is now Hubei province. Okay, let's look at uh, different areas in China. So in Hubei, there's uh, 1,933 new confirmed cases and totally have 58,182 uh, cumulative diagnosis. And QR have 6,643, while deaths had 1,696. And Hubei province is one of the uh, uh, serious cities in China. It have uh, 1,690 more confirmed cases, and in total, it have 41,152 confirmed cases, and current cases have 3,460, while deaths have uh, 1,309. Then, Xiaogang. Xiaogang have uh, 78 confirmed cases, and 3,279 um, Cumulative and 449 kill cases and 70 deaths. The next one is Panggang, have eight new confirmed cases and 2,831 in total. So the kill cases have 838, while the deaths have 76. Others are um, other countries in uh, Hubei province. We are not, not going to tell all the details. 
if you are interesting you can look at the uh, profits okay now let's look at uh, other provinces in China so the second one is Guangdong province which has 16 more cases and confirmed cases is 1,323 cases, Q cases 191, that's 4. Then Henan had a new di new confirmed cases, 15, 15 one, and then uh, all together 1,246, 577 Q cases, and 16 there. Okay, we are not going to so all the details of other countries. Then looks, let's look at uh, Hong Kong. So in Hong, Hong Kong is in have uh, 58 confirmed cases and two cure cases. Taiwan have 20 confirmed cases and two cure cases. And Macau have 10 confirmed cases and five cure cases. Okay, let's look at the data except China. So now the confirmed cases is 737 confirmed cases, which have 95 cure cases and three test cases. And Japan is one of the most serious cities in uh, countries, except China. It has uh, 454 accumulated confirmed cases, and one school and one test, one cure and one test. Singapore is the next serious countries. It has a uh, seventy-five five confirmed cases and nineteen cure cases. Then after that is Thailand has thirty-five confirmed cases and fifteen cure cases. Korea has thirty confirmed cases and nine cure cases. Malaysia have 22 confirmed cases and 72 cases. All other countries are less than uh, 20s. We are not going to go through the details of all the other countries. If you are interested, you can look at the tables above. Okay, thanks for listening. That's the data for today. If you are interested, you can subscribe us and uh, follow our video to your friends. Thank you. Have a good have a good night.